Hi, I'm Davey, Senior Product Engineer at Intercom. Today, I'm going to share our Intercom MCP server. For those of you that don't know, MCP is an open protocol that allows LLMs to get access to external resources. In this case, the Intercom MCP server acts as a proxy between an LLM and the Intercom public API, giving access to Intercom conversations, contacts, and data events. The demo I'm about to share illustrates a workflow where an engineer is investigating their assigned linear issues. The engineer is going to ask Claude for help debugging the issue. I'll play the role of the engineer. The first thing I'll do is ask Claude to pull down the relevant linear issue. Claude is using a connected linear MCP server to fetch the issue. Having found it, Claude has now summarized the issue and noticed that there are three intercom conversations connected to it as well. The next thing I'm going to do is ask Claude to get those conversations. Claude is now using the intercom MCP server to pull down the relevant intercom conversations. Claude has now summarized these conversations for me and noticed that there are three users experiencing the issue. The next piece of information I'm going to get are the intercom contacts. These are the contacts that have submitted the issue via these intercom conversations. Claude has now found the intercom contacts and has summarized their common attributes. The last piece of information I'm going to get here are intercom events. These events will give us insights into what the customers were doing when they experienced the issue. As Claude lists off these events, we start to see a pattern emerge. The last thing I'll do here is ask Claude to summarize the issue and identify any patterns. I've also asked Claude to recommend some next steps for resolving the issue. Using all of the information that we've gotten so far, Claude has highlighted a problem description, data patterns, and also recommended some next steps. The key data patterns we've noticed here are all three users are located in Frankfurt, Germany. They're all using the same app version, and they're all on Mac OS. We've also noted that they're using different browsers, so browser doesn't appear to be an issue here. Using the intercom event data, we've captured some customer intent here. All three users were attempting to purchase blue jeans. One user highlighted that they were able to resolve the issue by removing certain items from their basket. So the likely causes here are product-specific issues with the blue jeans, region-specific checkout problems for German customers, a bug in the app version 2.3.1, and possible inventory stock limitation. Claude has also recommended next steps. As you just saw, open standards like MCP are reshaping how AI connects to the real world. This isn't just about integrations. It's a major shift in the agent ecosystem where AI can take action, resolve issues, and surface insights across your tech stack without heavy custom work. And this is just the first step in our investment. We're excited to keep building alongside our customers, integrating Finn more deeply into their systems and making it even easier to connect AI into their workflows. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.